Add relevant skills to your resume to make your skills stand out. In your CV, particularly in the section describing your work experience, emphasize the talents needed for the position. Put skills at the top of your cover letter. Soft talents are something you may include in your cover letter. Include one or two of the competencies discussed in this article, and provide concrete situations from your professional life where you used these abilities. Employ skill words while interviewing for jobs. During your interview, keep in mind the key competencies stated above, and be ready to provide instances of when you've utilized each one. The following technical competencies are the emphasis of this skills certification program. Analytical skills, organizational governance, project management, risk management, planning and scheduling, and executive communication. The phrases planning and scheduling are sometimes used interchangeably. Nevertheless, they are not. The planning process includes more than just scheduling. The word planning has many diverse meanings and applications. Financial planning is a topic that is frequently discussed, including retirement and higher education preparation. Planning teams or units are present in practically every department of both governments and huge enterprises. A young person may personally have ambitions for marriage, a profession, and other things. However, the term planning in the context of this book is limited to project planning, with a focus on construction and engineering projects. The timing and order of the project's activities must be planned, together with their assembly to determine the total completion time. Scheduling, as was previously noted, concentrates on a single aspect of planning. The questions are answered via project planning. What will be accomplished? A more specific degree of when is covered in scheduling. In reality, researchers often distinguish between planning and scheduling. Important path planning and scheduling are separated by the method, and CPM calculations may be conducted once project data has been gathered, described as a network plan, and activity time estimates have been allocated. When the first calculation that yields a project duration is done, planning ends and scheduling begins. The scheduling process then starts after comparing the project length to the intended timeline. Why do you schedule projects? Every project involves a number of partners, stakeholders. They all require project scheduling and profit from it, albeit in different ways. The following list of justifications for the necessity of project scheduling is presented from the viewpoints of contractors and owners. Every project involves a number of partners, stakeholders. They all require project scheduling and profit from it, albeit in different ways. Project scheduling is required for contractors. Project scheduling is required by planning engineers to Estimate the project's completion date. The general contractor, GC, together with subcontractors and other team members, is generally required to complete the project by the deadline stated in the contract. The contractor must make sure that their timetable coincides with this deadline. Some contracts provide provisions for penalties for completing the project later than agreed upon deadlines and or rewards, financial or otherwise, for completing the project early. The timeline may also indicate the stage of considerable completion, at which the owner may begin using and occupying the facility even when the contractor is still finishing off a few details. Estimate the beginning or finish of a certain activity, some tasks, including ordering and delivering supplies or equipment, may call for extra care. For instance, the project manager can require the delivery of expensive and specialized equipment precisely in time for installation. It could be necessary to place an order for long lead products months in advance. To ensure that delivery of exceptionally large objects does not interfere with traffic during rush hour, the city may need cooperation or a specific authorization. Such significant occasions must be included in the schedule. Adjust disputes and coordinate between trades and subcontractors. The GC's primary responsibility in modern construction is to collaborate with various subcontractors. The general contractor, GC, may be in charge of dividing up the time that a tower crane is available for usage among subcontractors or just making sure that enough workspace is available for each subcontractor. 
The coordination of logical linkages, such as when one subcontractor's work depends on the completion of another subcontractor's activity, is in addition to these activities. For instance, the painter can begin painting after the drywall is up, but the drywall contractor cannot begin until the framework is finished. Estimate and calculate the cash flow. The timing of an activity has an effect on the cash flow, which the contractor, or the owner, may want to take into consideration. The owner or the contractor must be aware of their entire outlays for any given month or time frame. To ensure that the cash flow does not exceed a certain cap, he or she may postpone the commencement of some actions within the available float, this term is defined later. Improve work efficiency, the contractor can save time and money by properly allocating personnel and equipment, as well as by managing materials. Act as a useful tool for project control, project control needs to have a stable foundation against which to measure current performance. By contrasting the actual schedule and budget with the baseline, as anticipated, schedule and budget, project control is achieved. Assess the impact of changes, change orders are generally always necessary, although well-planned projects may only experience a few or insignificant ones. Change requests might take the form of a directive, ordering the contractor to implement the change, or they can ask for an evaluation before authorizing the change. This alteration might come in the form of an addition, deletion, or substitution. Change requests may affect the budget, the schedule, or both. Schedulers determine the impact of the modification on the project schedule while cost estimators estimate the cost of change orders, including the effect on overhead costs as a result of the schedule change. It is the contractor's duty to notify the owner of any potential effects and gain his or her consent before making any changes to the budget and or timeline.